on guys so it looks like we got another poll here from nanos uh that is bias nick and nanos uh you're gonna probably laugh just like i did when i first saw these numbers but let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual now is nick nanos founder and chief data scientist at nanos research and i'm gonna guess mr garneau may not be voting for mr trudeau on the next ballot how are you sir yeah. <laughs> i'm fine roger and uh yeah, I think that's probably a hard no. You know, he's put it down on paper and uh, published for everyone to see. Okay, so what does everyone else think right now? What's the ballot support looking like over, looking like over the last month? Well, you know, what's interesting is, Roger, you know, when you look at the ballot support with the Conservatives at 41% nationally, they're still firmly in majority territory. It probably speaks to why the Liberals are torturing themselves. And why don't we say torturing Justin Trudeau at the same time? So let's just have a look at this here. 26.5 points. There's no other poll in Canada right now that has the Liberals at 26 points. And they haven't for a long time. Now, they have the NDP going down to 16.5 points. But, I mean, most polls have the Liberals hovering around 44 or 45%. 41.4? Like, what's... what? Like, we just got into this video, but I'm just curious. Like, well, what's the bias about here? Like, is Nick Nanos, like, a former Liberal who's taken some money from Trudeau or something? Because... There's no way they get 26. I don't even think they get 25. They're going to be lucky to get 20, in my opinion. Now, we'll see who's right and who's wrong, but this seems like a little bit biased to me. Uh, <laughs> in terms of the current political situation, because the Conservatives are at 41, Liberals at 27, so they're 14 points back. NDP at 17, not great numbers. The NDP usually like numbers in the 20s or thereabouts, but you know, at around 17 points, not great. Block is at 10, and you know, that block at 10%, and that's up two points in the last four weeks, that actually converts into a lot of seats in the province of Quebec. So even though that's a national number, that's a big number for the for the block. Green Party at four, People's Party at two. All right, which makes it interesting. What do, we, what do you think we'll see over the summer? Everybody's out, they're doing their barbecue tour and all that. Uh, any indications who might strengthen over the summer, who might decline? Well, you know, I think probably we'll... we'll the decline and the focus will be on Justin Trudeau, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have the Mark Garneau book. We have Catherine McKenna, who's come out and said that he should step down. We have John Manley, two, those uh, McKenna and Manley, two former liberal cabinet ministers. And you know what, Roger? A house divided, in this particular case, the liberal house, cannot win an election. Because you know what? It was going to be hard before the Toronto St. Paul's by-election mm -hmm. for Justin Trudeau to challenge Pierre Poilier. He's now in a whole new world of pain. Because he's now not only fighting the Conservatives and Pierre Poilievre, but he's got a rear guard action within the Liberal family right now. So he said he's Justin Trudeau is facing a whole world of pain. Then why do you have him up in the polls, Nick? 14 point lead. Everything we've seen is somewhere between 18 and 20 points, except for when this guy comes out with a poll. So that's very interesting. Justin Trudeau is really feeling the pain. Yeah, of course. So why? what made him <clears throat> go up in the polls based off your data? Because 338 Canada shows something completely different. Just go to their website right now. They have Trudeau down by about 18 points. And this is even after the St. Paul election. So what happened between now and then that made people more supportive of Justin Trudeau? It seems like his support is going down, not just with the Canadian people, but as Nick Nanos even said, with his own MPs. That's very strange. Again, just the bias here. Like, why is he... It's almost like he's giving liberal voters as much hope as possible. It's almost like his poll is like, okay, you're not going to win, but here's the best you can do with around 26%. That is their high end of votes, in my opinion. I don't see how they even get that, but best case scenario for them, we still got a while's away to go. They can get 26%. I have a feeling that that's what this poll was, mod was modeled by. Because as Nick Nanos just said, he's feeling the pain, not just from Canadians, but from his own MPs. Well, that would suggest he'd be down on the polls, which he already is, but I mean down even worse. And he's talking about, you know, well, here's what the, the Liberals, uh, you know, need to try to do to win the election. There's no winning the election. This is all about damage control right now. They have no path to win the election unless Pierre Polyev just does something insane that people who are not liberal would, you know... Because like I said, a lot of people who make these points about Pierre Paul, yeah, they're only, it's only liberals saying it, right? It's not independents or populists or people in the middle. They're, they're criticizing Pierre Paul, yeah, of shit that they, that they do, 
right? They're saying, oh, Pierre Polyev is going to take away your rights. No, Justin Trudeau literally did take away our rights during the pandemic. Literally. Right? That's what liberals always do. They always criticize people for doing what they've already done. It's 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 crazy. So there's no real uh, logical path for the liberals to win the next election. This is not about winning. This is about damage control. So I don't even know why he's talking about, oh, liberals need to do this to win. Give me a break. And that never works out well for the liberals. We've seen it happen before with them. Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't happen with the conservatives either. You know, Aaron O'Toole, once there are grumblings within uh, his caucus, he was out. Uh, and, uh, you know, so it's never good whenever any any federal party leader uh, doesn't have the full support of, uh, of its own members. And you know what? If, if a party is divided, why should Canadians support that party? You know, it might be harsh to say, but that's the reality. All right, let's talk about some issues. Uh, we're talking about inflation is seems to be going down and concerns about it seem to be going down, but housing prices an issue now. Yeah, you know, the thing is, uh, Roger, you know, when we roll up all of the economic issues, they represent about four out of every 10 Canadians. Inflation being at the top of the list at 13, followed by housing at 11 and job. Okay, so here we go again. Environment. This is, again, this is the only poll that I've seen. I've seen a lot of data from Abacus and from um, Angus Reid showing that the environment is now the fifth or sixth uh, most cared about issue in Canada. Inflation, housing costs, jobs economy, uh, healthcare, immigration, and then environment is what I'm seeing. But of course, for some reason, he's got the environment still here. Again, only liberals are super concerned about it. People like me, even conservatives, are like, okay, yeah, let's work towards green energy, but let's, it's not that out of control yes it's hot right now it's july supposed to be hot it's always been hot in july so a lot of people aren't as worried as the environment uh, as as nick nanos is saying here but then again if you're a liberal pollster you're probably getting more liberals to take your polls too so that also could be why you're seeing these kind of wonky numbers ups in the economy down a little bit at uh nine Environment at eight, healthcare. Uh, environment at nine, healthcare at eight. Uh, see a little bit of an uptick for immigration, and also an uptick, a little bit of an uptick for uh, high taxes. And uh, but you know the reality is, Roger is four out of every ten Canadians mentioned some sort of economic issue. That's what they want to hear about from uh, from politicians. And maybe to your question earlier, the uh, barbecue, mm -hmm. the barbecue circuit that everybody's going to be on. Yep. You know they're going to be talking about, hey, I got to pay the bills. What, what's going to happen to pay the bills? Where are we going to get jobs from? Where's prosperity going to come from? That's what Canadians want to hear about. Okay, and just quickly before we go, uh, probably have popularity dipping slightly? Yeah, well, still within right. the margin of error, but he's still, yeah, he's got an 11-point advantage uh, over Justin Trudeau. But, you know, Justin Trudeau's at 24 uh, on the preferred prime minister. Jagmeet Singh's at 13, so he's down uh, He's down a little more at around 3%. And Pierre Poiliev, Hold and steady. Maybe the key takeaway here, Roger, is conservatives and Pierre Poilievre holding steady in majority territory and the advantage on leadership. And Trudeau now not just fighting the conservatives, fighting his own people in order. All right, let's have a look at this here. Preferred prime minister. <clears throat> yeah, thirty-five percent. I think that's a little bit low. I think other polls would show that it's got, it's closer to forty percent. I think Trudeau's is closer to twenty. Although twenty-four percent is a little bit you know, closer than, you know, 26. So, you know, this isn't too bad, but again, still 11 points over preferred prime minister. What, like, what's the path to victory? And I guarantee it's actually higher than that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, you know, what do you think about Nick Nano's polling in general? Do you think he's a little bit biased? Do you think this is more accurate than the most polls? Please let, please let me know what you think. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.